One, two, three. Probably about three or four years ago, uh, my wife bought me my first DSLR. And at that point, it was just a hobby, really. I didn't know what I was doing. I'd just go out and take some pictures, and I thought they looked OK. Starting um, the company wasn't, it was more or less the aspect of, are people even going to hire me that I was worried about? You know, there's so many other options out there people could choose. So what, what it's going to make the blind photographer stand out over someone who can fully see and, and in a profession that is basically 90% vision. I was, uh, I was born completely blind. I can't see very well out of my right eye. Um, I can see well out of my left eye, but not to the point of someone with full vision. And it's more my peripheral vision that is the issue rather than my distance. After numerous corrective surgeries, Johnson remains legally blind. He has turned his limitations into strengths. Yeah, I think it actually makes me a better photographer because it makes me more focused on detail. It's something that I find makes me more aware of my surroundings and makes me more aware of what I'm actually taking a picture of. Johnson says the camera has helped extend his sight. To get close to subjects and get you know, to experience them close up for someone who can't see it quite as much. You know, they don't get that same experience. So really for to me to pull out my, you know, my big telephoto lens, it was nice that I could actually get that close without really being that close. Aaron Marsaw, a blind volunteer with the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, believes in pushing past stereotypes. I try to get people to focus on, on, on my abilities and see the person first and then the disability uh, secondarily. I've actually never had anybody question my vision per se before hiring me. You know, I'm upfront on my website, I'm upfront about my vision. You know, I am legally blind and I make sure the client knows that. So then afterwards they do get their photos back and they are very surprised a lot of the time about how well they've turned out and, and it makes them really happy. It makes them feel like they've, they did choose the right photographer for the job. Kim Kilpatrick, a blind radio host with CKCU in Ottawa, says technology has opened doors for those in the blind community. Blind people are doing things, more things now because technology computers are making an equal playing ground. It's come a long ways and I, I don't know if I'd be able to do it um, like I did back in the day with uh, like film and stuff like that. It, it would be definitely a lot harder just for me personally. Johnson has personalized technology to suit his professional needs. The only thing that I really needed to adapt, that was just my computer and how I need to use my computer. Um, I've tried using Zoom text before. It's just, it's very, I found it very awkward to use, so I kind of gave up on that and, and I just resorted over to turning my computer dark, which just made it a lot easier for me to see. As technology has become more accessible, for example, the Apple products, when that happened, I think the blind community started to demand of other mainstream developers uh, of equipment and software that they too be ex accessible out of the box. The Canadian National Institute for the Blind assists visually impaired Canadians. Johnson uses the services offered by the CNIB to get access to helpful technology. Uh, I've been involved with the CNIB for a number of years. Um, they've been really helpful in all this. Um, they do a lot with uh, assistive technology. and It's made it really easy for me to get some of the technology that I need to go further with uh, photography and just everyday life helping me see better. Outside photography, Johnson keeps busy with his family life. Here it's, it's my wife and my son. Um, she's blind too. And, uh, you know, that makes it interesting sometimes, you know, two visually impaired people in the same place. And For Johnson, the support of his friends and family has been crucial to his success. I guess technically I don't know because I can't really see the photos, but I know, like, everybody loves his photos and he's just so passionate about it. How could you not do something you love? Johnson hopes to continue his passion for photography in the future. My hope is to eventually being able to quit my day job and do photography full time. Yeah, eventually open up a studio somewhere in the city where I can just display my work. For the 25th hour, I'm Jennifer Turnbull.